Hello and welcome to the 8th edition of What's in the Press, brought to you by the Comic Doctor in Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. This week, December the 1st, 2019, we're working on a whole bunch of awesome books, starting with some books brought to us by Arnold. Uh, first off, we have some slabs that Arnold wanted to have worked on and then resubmitted. Here we have a flash, uh, I'm not sure what issue is, uh, number 129. Um, and then we also have a copy of Just Leave America 22. He also has a couple of really... Uh, cool looking uh, Green Lantern books. Well here's one anyways, that's Green Lantern 13 and then a uh, Detective Comics 475 as well as a Detective Comics 476 and a Conan the Barbarian number three. So all of these slabs will be cracked, worked on, clean pressed, what have you and then resubmitted. And let's have a look at the back of some of these and see if there's any, uh, yeah so for example I don't know if you can see this or not I'm not sure how in focus this is, but just alone, this book here certainly can use a, pra uh, a cleaning, sorry, and uh, will look all the whites will, will shine. It'll be a lot brighter once I'm through cleaning them. Um, so these books certainly will improve in that regard. And moving right along, Arnold also submitted a whole ton of raw books, and I was mentioning some Green Lantern books earlier, and here they are. We have a Green Lantern uh, number seven. And um, Green Lantern number 15, so early Sinestro appearances, number number nine. And these here have the uh, stamps, the over the, over the European or I guess British stamps for pricing. Um, you'll notice uh, if you go on to eBay, you can actually get a pretty good deal on some of these books. And DC didn't put a didn't print a European variation. It was still just the uh, American price and then they would stamp on the European price uh, which is pretty cool. Anyhow here's another uh, nice Sinestro book. Number six Green Lantern and I think that's it for the Green Lanterns. Arnold also submits a nice copy of Conan the Barbarian number one. Detective Comics uh, 880. Two of those actually. Very popular cover, of course, the Batman 251, classic Joker cover. Tales of Teen Titans 44, first uh, Nightwing. New Mutants 87, oh, there's other Green Lantern, actually, and number 43. Detective Comics 395. DC Comics Presents 26 for Cyborg. And Arnold also has a nice copy of Eternals number 1. Man Thing number 1. And Adventures into Fear with the Man Thing, number 19. So those are Arnold's books. There's quite a few there. Moving right along, I'm going to keep these slabs over here so as not to knock them over. And here we have some books from Peter. And Peter is out of Ajax. And Arnold, by the way, I believe is out of Toronto. And uh, here are some of Pete's books. Nova number one. Nice copy of X-Men 129, First Kitty Pride, Strange Tales 112, crisp copy of Fantastic Four 129. I've been seeing a heck of a lot of this vintage of Fantastic Fours coming in lately. A lot of books from like issue 90 into the 130s, so they're, they're starting to heat up as well too. I've been seeing lots of these books come in. Amazing Spider-Man 162. And some Eternals to end this up with uh, number 14 featuring the Hulk. And not one, not two, heck not three, but four copies of Eternals number one. And if you'll notice, 30 cent price variant. And if you notice earlier, I know I showed you Arnold's book, and here's Arnold's Eternals number one, and you'll notice the 25 cent price on that one versus the 30 cent. And 30 cent being the price variant tends to be a little more valuable than the uh, 25 cent one. Anyhow, guys, that'll do it for this week's edition of What's in the Press. I am running a little bit behind. I'm still working on some of uh, Jim's books from last week, finishing off those uh, probably tomorrow or Wednesday, and then these guys will probably be worked on towards the end of this week. Uh, again, December the 1st. Uh, next week, uh, please join us again for the ninth edition of What's in the Press. And if you do like these videos, please 
subscribe to my channel and uh, put the like and thumbs up and all that jazz. And I think right about here, you can actually subscribe by just clicking on that little orange Comic Doctor logo. Thanks again, guys. Have a fantastic week, and I look forward to seeing you again next week on the next edition of What's in the Press.